Hello and welcome back to Jack Strike's contest. Today we are with a reoccurring member, Mr. Tag. I'm Jack. Uh, so today we are going to be entering Mama's Records 200 subscriber contest. Uh, he has some interesting questions for us. I guess we'll get right into it. Mm -hmm. Um, number one, show an album with a perfect B side slash side two. Um, I'm going with my favorite album of all time, Rush's masterpiece, Moving Pictures. Of course, the A-side is some of the most iconic Rush tracks ever recorded. Um, but on the B-side is Witch Hunt, Vital Signs. Um, amazing tracks on side B. And I might actually like side B better than side A because wow. side A is just so overplayed. That's, but that's um, it still is my favorite album. Every single song is a 10 out of 10. Um, so, yeah, there we go. That's good album. So, this one made Jack very happy that I picked this one. Uh, very happy. Yes. I was... Stoked. You were thrilled that I picked Cheap Trick live at Budokan. This record has a great B side. It has a great A side. It's the B side's good, better though. B side, yes. So, yeah, partially the B side has most of the hits. Has I want, I want to want you and surrender. But it just has a great. What else is on here? Um, Clock strikes ten. Clock strikes ten. Good the, night now. Good night now is the. Ain't that a shame? Love this B side. What you gonna say? Uh, yeah, uh, Good Night Now is their, like, their closure to Hello There, because Hello There was recorded on In Color, um, and that was the, f one of my favorite Cheap Trick albums ever. Yes. Um, so, but... love this record, got this record, in uh, for a great price, so this is one of my favorite albums with a great B-side. Okay, uh, number two for me, oh, sorry, uh, show a double album that you think is a wrong. A second release from a van that avoids the sophomore slump. I've never heard that term, and I love it. It's a great term. Um, this is an, ins an insane, incredible album. Slave to the Grind by Skid Row. This is probably one of the most valuable records in my collection because this was the Record Store Day uh, pressing that was done a couple years ago. Um, and it sounds pretty good. I think the original sounds better, but... Um, Great release put out by Run Out Groove, uh, and this is an amazing album. Monkey Business, Slave to the Grind, Quicksand, Jesus, um, a lot of good stuff on this yes. recording. I haven't listened to them much, but I've heard some of their songs. They're very good. I like them. Yes. 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 So, for my album with a band who definitely avoided the sophomore slump, is just, it has to be Black Sabbath, Paranoid. It's such a great record. One of the so best many, records of all time. Yes. So, so many good songs on here. War Pigs. War Pigs. Paranoid. Paranoid. Uh, Iron Man. Iron. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid. Did I say Paranoid already? I don't know. Electric know. Funeral on the B-side yes. is one of my favorite. Fairies Wear Boots, Rat Salad. There's so many good songs yes. on that record. This is a great record. He, this, you have a nice copy of this one. I have a very great, nice copy. This is the, shape. the Vertigo Swirl reissue. Yes. Very nice. Where did very, you get this? Nice. I got this for Christmas. I want this pressing. You want this pressing? I would love to I'll sell it to you. No, I'm kidding. I'm not selling it. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> this is my album. This, they definitely avoided their sophomore slump. I agree. Their first record was actually pretty good, but I mean... My first record's one of my favorites. Compared to this, I mean, nothing even compares. That's my record for a good... It didn't avoid the sophomore slump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show a double album that is a perfect record. Perfect. This... Front to back. Front to back. <laughs> to this back. is one of my favorite records of all time. Um, quite a new band. This is Greta Van Fleet. A, a, ba a battle of a peaceful army. I saw them live. a lot. A, a battle of a what peaceful army. About? A battle at Gardens Gate. I'm mixing the second album and the third album together. <laughs> I saw them live on this tour in Nashville. Or from Maryland, but I got to go all the way to Nashville just to see Greta Van Fleet. Yeah, you have your poster over there. Yeah, I have my concert poster. Yes. But this is why I saw them, this album. Heat Above, um, Caravel, Age, uh, Age of Machine, just insane. Broken Bell, Built by Nations, just amazing songs. The Weight of Dreams, just in amazing songs. And this is an amazing pressing as well. Uh, it's a Target exclusive. I it, love the Target exclusive. They actually, so many of them. It sounds very, very good. Yeah, they make um, great. No, oh, I have a, I have a Target, um, I have a, I have Hollywood's Bleeding. I have it in that exact same color from Target. This color? Yes. Mm -hmm. this Probably color. the same Target pressing. Possibly. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is one of my, uh, most spend in my collection. I actually just spent, uh, spun this today. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah. So, for my, this is very funny, running joke along the contest channel. 
So for not the original channel. If you have not checked out no, the yes, original channel, please, please do check do that it. out. It is always left in the link in the description. So for my <laughs> album, my double LP that I think is a perfect record. It's kind of a running joke that every single contest video, I've chosen a Green Day record. Because I love Green Day. They're my favorite band. I own so many of their records. So for my favorite double LP, you know I had to. American Idiot. Don't want to be an American. I, have, I put this in like almost every video that I've done on this channel. Um, the if not ones, this, Dookie. If not Dookie, um, it's been this. And this is just... Perfect record. Every single I love every song on here. No skips. Um, no songs that I don't like. This is my favorite. Probably this is my top five records of all time. I love this record to death. I this is his black pressing, but I actually own um, a gray pressing which I love, and it's my favorite record in my collection because of the fact that I love the record and it's gray. Okay, please stop talking. So yes. That's um. <laughs> okay. Um. Next is shouting out two channels that are criminally underrated. Um, first is, uh, Carson Tucker's Rock and Roll World. He was not under 200 subscribers. He was actually in, like, pretty, 300 around. Yeah, he's pretty high. So, the thing is, his channel got deleted, um, because it was, he's, like, our age. Right. So, he, he did his channel through his school account, and his school found out, and he, sh and they shut his channel right. down. Um, so. So he had a great channel, but then he, I was like, he emailed me, he's like, do I, do I quit or do I start a new channel? I'm like, you gotta start a new channel. So he has 33, 34, 35 subscribers as of now, and it'd be really cool if we could get him back to the number he was at, because he is so underrated, um, and one of my favorite channels. Every episode he puts out, I watch. Um, but yeah, really a bummer about the, the school issue. Uh, another one that is criminally underrated is more of a bass-related channel, uh, but two members of the vinyl community that are very, very active. Yes. Um, Glenn Calloway and Lisa Tedesco put a channel together called Bass to Bass. Uh, it's basically where they talk about bass, albums with bass on it, give away. And you showed me a video of theirs. Yeah, yeah I they love have them. great video. Yeah. I, I love them. Love yeah, them. Um, they're really nice people. I They sent me uh, Getty Lee's Big Beautiful Book of Bass, like a $100, like, huge coffee table book. They sent it over for free. Yeah, cool book. Um, yeah. yeah, they're just awesome people. Uh, and they're like 70, 70, 75 around there. Subscribers, it would be really cool if they got to up to 200 point. Um, but yeah, those are the two channels that I've chosen uh, to choose. And there's just so yeah. many of them that have le um, less followers than they should. Uh, but that concludes this episode of Jack's Tracks Contest. Thanks so much to Mama's Records for starting this contest. As always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Jack's Tracks Records Contests.